what's good everybody it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk guys you know i gotta do some grifting i want to look into the mind of somebody who's insane tiffany henry and of course tiffany henry in my honest opinion and i've been looking at what's been going on online in the last 10 years especially me being you know associated with um, the manosphere black men's groups uh, collaborating with the past four bros i've seen a lot of these men get attacked for their positions or for expressing their issues with the black community i've seen them get attacked i've seen guys uh get trolled addresses put out doxing all sort of things for just putting their opinion out there a brother like kevin samuels we all know what he went through and the like most of us have been through something similar not as bad as him but you get my drift and then when i see the people who are causing the harm to the so-called community and to black women as a whole it's really not brothers it's women themselves and it's taking me aback let me give you an example and i've mentioned this earlier brother jedediah brown happens to be in flint michigan and i just so happened to see a city council meeting that was going on and the back and forth and arguing in the calling the names between women i was like whoa this is serious what men from what i was seeing it was women and then nobody does this better than tiffany here talking about hating on black women and especially disrespecting women older than you that that's that's something that i just don't understand you know uh, it, it's okay to disagree with somebody but people that are older than her oh to be her mom don't care about it right there's all kind of things to people malicious firing people lying on people uh even got one lady's uh, allegedly house show a shot up then she'll come on here and put this pity post read this i'm under attack the enemy want what i have just remember what god has for you is for you they can try all they want but god has my name on it follow your purpose god's plan she puts this sermon up here i want to listen to this sermon that she got up here and see how she can misconstrue that this sermon is about her play that clip watch this i'm about to help you all are y'all ready for this yes. i'm under attack and i just found out that the reason i'm under attack is because the enemy wants my territory listen to me listen to me look at me in my face every fight that you have is about territory Look at me, look at me. Every fight is about territory. What do I mean? Territory in your mind. Your children, their territory. Your house, that's territory. Your spirit, that's every fight you have is about the devil trying to occupy something that God has given you authority over. They want the territory, there's a problem. If they got it, they couldn't do nothing with it because what God has for you is for you. Let me give you your first reason to shout. Even though they're going to try to take it, they won't get it because it has your name on it. Now, the reason, the reason why I am saying this and the reason why I'm playing that, because of course it makes no goddamn sense. All right, it just doesn't. For her to actually believe that she is on trial. But do you know what that means? Your ass is scared. Let me tell you something that I learned when I was a little kid. If you can't stand the heat, stay out the kitchen. My mom used to always tell me in so many words, and my dad, a child growing up in Sunday school is seldom found in jail, right? They told me what would happen to me if you go to jail, there's gonna whoop your ass, somebody's gonna take your cheeks, Okay, so if you don't want to do that lifestyle, you better work hard and you better be honest as much as you can and do the right thing. So I said, fine, God give me whatever you give me, I'm gonna do my best to get it. Wanna know what I didn't do? Start pointing fingers at people when I actually don't have what it takes. This is what she's doing. You went and get all that calamity, all of that stealing, all of that crime, all of that lying, all of that stuff that you have done to the community to all of these people all of that evil that you have done now you under attack i i just well, what about those people 
those black women out there, the handicapped ones that needed to come up to the city council meeting and you blocked their parking so the elderly and all those women couldn't come up there. Canceling the meetings once a month, not letting the people talk, not caring about how people feel, but you're under attack. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, this kind of stuff happens all through black America. It, it's, it's just, it's, I don't know what is wrong with our group. It's a black problem. I, I, it's, a, it's happening in Africa. Family, I don't know why it'll bring you to tears when you see our people acting like this. I, I, I hate to sound like I'm an old person now, but, but, but come on now. You will sit your $5 ass up here and act like, you know, you're under attack and then you're gonna have idiots in the post sitting there agreeing with her. Let's look at some of the comments. This is gonna be funny. T.O. Hardiman, you shall prevail. Brother, listen, I've been trying not to deal with you, but bro, you are out here simping, bro. And I, I tried to, I'm, I'm, I'm warning you, brother T.O., okay? Because the, no, nobody needs to even listen to what you're saying ever. This guy right now, I say he's a fraud in black America. He gotta be a fraud. There is nobody who love black people supporting Tiffany Henry. I'ma say it. Look at Larry Farmer. Look at this. Just keep on holding to what you got and everything's gonna be all right. This guy, I don't know what is going on with this brother here, but the black community don't need him. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Let's continue to encourage the effort of people who disrespect elderly women and disrespect it doesn't make any sense now it'd be different if she just did it one time and that was it and all of this look at look at this other lady, lily marshall trusty house wants that seat when really trusty house didn't want the seat trusty house didn't even want to be mayor i feel i feel kind of sorry for the brother because he got to come in here and clean up this goddamn mess that she didn't make good man too by the way Look at the, they, 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 they quote in the Bible, Janice Haley Sanders, listen to this. All things work together for the good of those who love and trust God. Janice, do you honestly believe that this lady loves and trusts God? A woman who's sleeping with a married man, who got a kid out of wedlock, who steals y'all's money. Is that somebody who loves and trusts God? Okay. Erica Williams, let's listen to what she says on Facebook. It won't be handed over easy either. Keep fighting, Tiffany Henry. Oh my God, Erica Williams. Lord have mercy, Jesus. And you know what? I don't even want to even disrespect these uh, people from my community to have a difference of opinion. And we got to learn how to do that, okay? But I don't know what's going on with y'all. Uh, Neil McLaughlin, God will absolve you from the accusations of the haters and unbelievers. What God they serve, I don't want to serve that one. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, don't want to disrespect anybody. These people don't need them in the community. Don't need them there. Don't need them there. Ain't nothing but problems. Okay, y'all, I'm under attack. Who, who is attacking you? As if she has done nothing wrong. Lord have mercy, Jesus. As the old folk used to say. So guys, what do you think it's your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Richard, you should follow the you do the bell. We're out. <laughs>